It is Bedlam, as we expected. Once again, some of these families aren't sure exactly who was on these two planes. There is another plane yet to come in. So what we have right now are soldiers searching for families, families searching for soldiers. Let's see if we can find some of these soldiers. What you're seeing here is just one family being reunited after all these years, after all these months, rather. How long have you been gone? Seven months. We was the first ones deployed. First ones, uh, first Americans in. Tell me what's going through your mind right now. It's pretty clear from the pictures, but can you verbalize it all? What are you thinking about right now? It's too much put into words, sir. It's just, I don't know, happiness. Glad to be home. Can you tell us where you were, what you did? I was, well, I'll give it to you a little bit. We went in, we was um, first ones, 82nd Airborne, we was the first ones into Iraq. Uh, we was in before any ground forces, any other ground forces. And uh, went in, more or less took a bunch of prisoners. They gave up and, you know. Was it tough? <laughs> was it, was it At tough? Times, yes. What was the worst part of it? The waiting? Yeah. The waiting, had to be the waiting. You know, Do you worry about chemicals much? Uh, not really, because we have chemical suits. We're well trained, so you know, his thoughts always there, but you you know what to do. So, but this is the best time right now. Right now it is, sir. Let me get your name here. Uh, PFC Bobby Nichols. Bobby, welcome back. Thank you, sir. And I want to tell all the American people who supported us. Thank you very much. We love you all, family, friends, and uh, to all you protesters, we didn't really didn't care what you thought. Once again, one of the returning soldiers. Bruce says the homecoming was the one he never got when he returned from Vietnam years ago.
I, uh, sure miss this place. And I thought about all of your lot. You know, I didn't expect this. I'll never forget it. There's a lot of people that are uh, won't come home. They deserve this more than I do. And I hope that you all keep them in your prayers. And I really appreciate this. I'll never forget it. Thank you. troops. A short time ago, some 500 members of the Air Force 1st Tactical Fighter Wing began arriving home at Virginia's Langley Air Force Base. It was a sea of red, white, and blue for the Desert Storm heroes. Today's triumphant homecomings are just the beginning. They'll continue all across the United States in the days, weeks, and months ahead as more and more troops leave the Gulf. After filing onto charters in Jubail, Saudi Arabia, elements of the 3rd U.S. Marine Battalion are now officially part of the first wave of returning troops. They're expected to land at their home base in Hawaii Saturday morning. Some of the 40 journalists who went missing in Iraq have been turned over to the International Red Cross for release. CNN correspondent Greg Lamont and photographer Tyrone Edwards are among those released by Baghdad today. Other journalists are expected to be handed over to the Red Cross Saturday. Baghdad Radio says the 40 journalists had entered Iraq illegally to cover post-war unrest near Basra.